energy, electricity, and light. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Energy can only be changed from one form to another form. Remember these three properties of energy. What is energy? All things need energy to move. Energy is the driving force for the universe. There are two different types of energies, renewable energies and non-renewable energies. All natural resources can be described as renewable or non-renewable. Remember the energy always come from different natural resources. Renewable energies come from resources that can be replaced by nature or people in a short period of time. Non-renewable energies come from resources that cannot be replaced or can be replaced but in a long period of time. Remember that non-renewable energies pollute the environment. They are not good for our Earth. Here we are going to see the different types of renewable and non-renewable energy that we are going to study. First of all, renewable energy. Some examples are solar energy, biomass energy, wind energy, geothermal energy, and hydropower energy. The different examples of non-renewable energies are fossil fuel oil, coal, natural gas, or nuclear energy. Remember that non-renewable energies pollute the environment. Recycling is very important to save resources. It's a process designed to recover and reuse materials instead of throwing them away. It's a way of taking care of our environment. Recycling is very important. Electricity. Electricity is very important in our lives. We would find it very hard and difficult to live without it. Especially because in the house, in the school, in the supermarket, in everyday life, everything around us needs energy and electricity to work. That's why electricity is so important. Because many objects and machines that we need, need electricity. One of the sources of electricity is the main electricity supply. It's the place where we can get electricity in our house, for example. Most of the large appliances in our houses are powered by main electricity. Main electricity is a supply of electrical energy. Sockets and plugs change or convert this electrical energy into other forms of energy. So, electrical energy can be transformed into different types of energy. Heat or cool energy, light energy, sound energy and movement energy. The toaster, the oven, and the hair dryer transformed electricity into heat energy. The fridge and the freezer transformed electricity into cool energy.
the TV and the lamp transformed electricity into light energy. The computer, the TV, the radio and the alarm clock transformed electricity into sound energy. The washing machine, the mixer and some toys transformed electricity into movement energy. Many small electrical appliances use batteries. Batteries are also a source of electrical energy. Torches and cameras can use batteries and transform the electricity into light energy. Some toys and computers, walkie-talkies, can use batteries and transform the energy into sound energy. And uh, clocks, electric toothbrushes and toys can use batteries and transform this into movement energy. Electric circuits. An electric circuit is simply an interconnection of different elements that allow electric current to flow continuously through conductors. Normally, we have a source of power, in this case, a battery. We also need a load that shows that the circuit is working. It can be a bulb or a motor or a buzzer. And we also have a control. In this case, it can be a switch, switch on or switch off. All of these elements are connected through conductors. In this case, the conductors are the wires. Remember that wire, wires are made of metal inside and the metal is an electrical conductor and they are covered with plastic because plastic is a, an electric insulator. Here we can see the different symbols of some components of the electric circuit. Light. Let's study some characteristics or properties of light. Property number one. Light travels in straight lines. Property number two. Light travels very, very fast. Around 300,000 kilometers per second. Imagine that at this speed, Light could travel the equivalent of eight times around the world in one second. So, light travels much faster than sound. That's why, for example, when uh, we start a pistol, when a pistol is fired, we see the light first and then we hear the bang. The same with thunders and lightning. Thunder and lightning start at the same time, but we will see the lightning first, then we hear the thunder. Property Number three, light can create shadows. Shadows are places where light is blocked. Here we see one example. Property number four, light travels in waves. A wave is a disturbance that transfers energy from place to place. Property number five, we see things because they reflect light into our eyes. Yes, this is literally all the only way we get to see things. All the objects that we can see either create light or reflect light. Here we can see how light reflection works. Light bounces back when it hits something. That's the reason why we can see things. This is called the reflection. And finally, we are going to learn about color. Why light is not a symbol? A single color. It is made up of a mixture of the seven colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Now let's see how a rainbow is formed. When the white sunlight hits the raindrops, this white light is separated into the different colors. And that's the reason why we can see the seven colors. Let's see a summary of the properties of light. Property number one, light travels in straight lines. Property number two, light travels much faster than the sound, very, very fast. Property number three, 
We see things because they reflect light into our eyes. Property number four, shadows are formed when the light is blocked by an object. And finally, white light is not a color. It's a mixture of the seven colors of the rainbow.